actor James Martin made history this past year, becoming the first person with learning disabilities to lead in a role in an Oscar-winning film, An Irish Goodbye. Joining us now to talk more about the film and his accomplishments is Dr. James Martin himself. Dr. James Martin, thanks so much for joining us today. Yes, thanks for having me on. Uh, it's, it's just great to be on TV again. Yeah, it's so <laughs> awesome to have you here on the show and to talk about your accomplishments. Well, let's first get into An Irish Goodbye. Mm -hmm. So for some of our viewers who have maybe never heard of it, just won an Oscar. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, that thinks <laughs> it's the top. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love uh, that you're celebrating like that. It's, uh, it's a, a definite thing uh -huh. altogether, but of going to the likes of the BAFTAs, the Oscars, uh -huh. different ball game, me no really. Yeah, it's so amazing. And when it comes to the film, James, tell me what it was like for you to be able to be a lead in this film and work on the film with the entire cast and crew. I, I got to admit, the cast and the crew are fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, the directors are really good. Ross Wright and Tom Barkley. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really nice to have a a short movie like An Irish Goodbye can move a lot of people. Yeah. And that's really lovely, you know, really. Mm -hmm. And of, that's why right, that we've won a BAFTA, an Oscar, mm -hmm. and NAFTA, and, you know, it, it, it sort of goes on from there, but it's just been fantastic, really, yeah, I just to make. I believe it. And what, what, did, what was your reaction, James, when you first heard that the film won an Oscar? Well, because <laughs> uh, uh, because it was on, uh, because of the day of the Oscars itself, it was actually my birthday. Yeah. And you couldn't top any birthday like this one. On your birthday? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> it was just amazing. Yeah. And like a different ball game, and they all sang happy birthday to me, and then I'm thinking, is this actually a cloak? <laughs> you know, yeah. but uh, it turns out it wasn't. Yeah. It was actually for real. <laughs> but uh, it, was, it, was, it was fun and it was nice and very lovely just to be there and yeah. with a with guy. And yeah. uh, it's just really nice, you know, really. Yeah. Well, congratulations again. That's Thank so you. amazing. And you have made history yourself, <laughs> James. You've become the first actor with Down syndrome in a lead role to star in a film that won an Oscar. What is it like for you to know that you're going down in the history books? You know, you don't feel any different. Mm -hmm. uh, because of that, I just made history, not just because of my Down syndrome, mm -hmm. but because I'm the first person with Down syndrome can win three awards. Yes. BAFTA and Oscar and EFTA in one year, and that's incredible, you know, yes, really. It is. And you, you just couldn't plan. Uh, one thing after another, and come next year, it's going to be in the Guinness World Record book. And I'm thinking, That's fantastic, crazy. you know, really, you know, it's been yes. amazing, really. Wow, well, you inspire so many, James, and oh my gosh, it's just amazing hearing all these awards piling up. But you're here in San Francisco for a very specific reason, the San Francisco Irish Film Festival. Tell me a little bit about that. That's right. So. Uh, uh, an Irish Goodbye is in a, a festival here in San Francisco and uh, from today mm -hmm. until the weekend and it's, a, it's a, a big festival here in San Francisco and because it's going for must be 20 years now, the festival, so it's fantastic and the the movie be showing again mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow. Amazing. So uh, it's just be, uh, be amazing if it was showed there completely. Yeah. Have some fun and maps and it's just funny, you know, really. So yeah. it's, it's just really great, you know. Oh, it's going to be such a fun night. And I know you're also working very closely with a couple of organizations. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about those organizations? I'm an ambassador for Belfast. Mm -hmm. And I'm an ambassador for the Down syndrome and Mancap. And uh, I just like to mention about the Charlie mm -hmm. uh, Down syndrome uh, office here in San Francisco. Uh, they came to watch the movie 
and they thought it was really funny. So you only get the laughs, yeah. the laughter from them, and uh, but that's really lovely, you know, really. Uh huh. That's amazing. All right, I have one final question for you, James, <laughs> before I let you go. Do you have any piece of advice or inspiration out there for people who look to you and say, this is amazing what he's doing? I would get a lot of people, not just with Down syndrome, yeah. would come to me, but the likes of people with uh, autism, uh, hearing impairments, mm -hmm. or poorly sighted. They all come to me. Mm -hmm. And they look up to me and say, you've really inspired me. Yeah. I, I went to this school in Northern Ireland. Mm -hmm. And as a special needs school. And one of the kids said, uh, I couldn't believe the confidence that he's given me. And then I'm thinking, that's, that's really lovely. Yeah. You know, really, you know. That's what it's all about. It that's is, really yeah. Uh, you're totally right. It is really all about that, but you have to be not just excited, mm -hmm. have fun, mm -hmm. um, and I'm kind of in that person myself. Yeah. And it's just been a, a fantastic clone since. Well, congratulations one more time, and thank you so much for joining us here today. We appreciate it, James. Thank you so much. Of course.